and olive picking is such a wonderful occupation. We get olive trees through uh, individual sponsorships from all over the world. We can keep the hope alive for the Palestinians by showing our solidarity and by supporting their non-violent way of resistance. Keep Hope Alive, Plant an Olive Tree in Palestine is a Palestinian organized advocacy campaign aimed at helping Palestinian farmers by planting olive trees on their threatened lands. Since 2001, more than half a million olive trees have been uprooted by the Israelis. These olive trees belong to Palestinian landowners and farmers. The trees are uprooted mainly for the construction of the Israeli separation wall and the building and expansion of Israeli settlements in occupied Palestine. Many of these trees are hundreds of years old, some even dating back to the Roman era. The Olive Tree Campaign has found support in many different countries. In the Netherlands, five organizations have joined forces to support the work of the Olive Tree Campaign in Palestine. Uh, this is ICO, Cordate, IKIV Apex Christi, the National YMCA and the YWCA. Through the work of the Olive Tree Campaign, we reach out to people in, for example, churches, to schools, we organize public events and we want the people to know about the life of the Palestinian farmers. We want to reach out to people with the story of the Palestinians and their land. We do not want to speak about higher politics, uh, the things that we read in the newspapers and that we see on television. They are about uh, decisions are made on a higher political level. We talk about what does, how does that affect on the ground, how that, does that affect the farmers who are losing their land and who are losing their source of income. The Olive Tree Campaign was launched in 2001 by the Joint Advocacy Initiative of the East Jerusalem YMCA and the YWCA of Palestine, JAI, as a response to the Israeli systematic destruction of olive trees. Through a network of supporters, they have been able to find benefactors from all over the world to sponsor olive trees that are planted as a sign of solidarity and hope for Palestinian farmers. Ever since the year 2002, we managed to plant uh, nearly 62,000 olive trees up until today. We get olive trees through uh, individual sponsorships from all over the world, where people are invited to sponsor the planting of an olive tree to be planted on Palestinian private property. We buy the olive trees, the actual plants are bought from Palestinian nurseries all over the, the West Bank. The plan for the future, we hope that each and every individual around the world will have an olive tree planted in Palestine and like people will get to be involved with Palestine in a way that is more interactive rather than just like Palestine is this complicated issue and we want to live better away from it. Because the issue in Palestine is not that complicated. Media makes it very complicated, but it's very simple. The Dutch Olive Tree Campaign organizes regular activities and presentations to share the stories of Palestinian farmers. The Palestinian coordinator of the campaign visits the Netherlands every year during Peace Week to give presentations and meet with sponsors and potential sponsors. The Dutch campaign wants to give a voice to people whose stories are often unheard. So far the olive tree campaign in the Netherlands has been very successful. We have seen uh, a growth of people sponsoring trees. The average of sponsored trees is now every year is 1500 trees. Uh, we've seen more and more people coming to Palestine. Uh, we, we really hope that we can keep the hope alive for the Palestinians by showing our solidarity and by supporting their non-violent way of resistance. Because we do think that planting trees in areas that are threatened to be confiscated is a non-violent way of resistance. The olive trees that have been sponsored by people from all over the world are planted in Palestine from January to March. During this period, the JAI, together with the alternative tourism group, ATG, organize an annual olive planting program taking place in February. 
Up until early 2010, the campaign has planted more than 60,000 olive trees in hundreds of fields in the West Bank and Gaza. Many of the fields are now bearing fruit and producing olives for the farmers and their families. Planting olive trees is part of the campaign, let's say is the outcome of the, the campaign. The main, like, the main objective is that like, the olive tree campaign is an advocacy campaign that uses the olive tree as a tool for, for this advocacy. When we call on people to sponsor olive trees, we call on their involvement. We ask them to basically stand by the farmer. The, the logo of the campaign is to keep hope alive, and we, we've seen uh, farmers who've been empowered and really had like, hope for being able to maintain their property in the future. So it's always, it has always like, positive responses from the farmers. Uh, they do appreciate it in so many different ways. The olive tree has very important value for Palestinians. First of all, it is of great economic importance. The olive oil is used by the family itself, is sold in local markets, and through cooperatives is exported abroad. Besides consumption, the olive oil is also used as an important base for soap, ointments, and medicinal purposes. The olive tree has always been a symbol of hope and prosperity. Over the last decades, many Palestinian farmers have seen their lands confiscated by the State of Israel. Through the many barriers, roadblocks, checkpoints, fences and settlements, it has become almost impossible for farmers to reach their land. Keep Hope Alive brings internationals in October of every year during the olive harvest season to escort farmers to their lands to provide them with a protective presence and help. The olive harvest is an important event in the lives of Palestinians. School children are free from school, students take a break from university, and many workers take days off to join the family for the olive harvest. It is under the olive trees that family stories are being passed from one generation to the next. It is a time of hard work in the trees combined with the joy of family picnics in the fields. October of every year, people from all over the world come to Palestine to experience life under occupation and to see with their own eyes what life in the West Bank is like. By spending the day with families harvesting their olives, internationals have the chance to enjoy a taste of Palestinian family life and food. The family makes a delicious meal to show appreciation for those who came from all over the world to help them. It is a great time to share stories and listen to farmers talking about their lives and connection to their land. <laughs> I wanted to participate with uh, Palestinian people and to operate uh, near the ground, near the earth, in something useful, um, which was productive, rather than just visiting. Uh, and the olive picking program was ideal, so I came at the very beginning. They're trying to remove people, to persuade people to leave, and I think the, the resistance is the form of resistance here, of staying, of simply staying, is the only way in which you can, in a way, in which you can fight back. Uh, and so coming here is a way of, of expressing solidarity and developing solidarity with that desire to stay on the land and prevent it from being stolen. The olive picking and planting programs also include visits to Palestinian cities, meetings and lectures so the participants can enrich their learning experience. Through their efforts, the Dutch olive tree campaign has managed to sponsor an average of 1,500 olive trees every year since the start of the campaign. When we hear about the troubles in this region, the news is based on the higher political level. But we don't hear about the effects the land confiscations have on the Palestinian farmers who work on the ground and watch their lands being lost. Through the Olive Tree campaign, we try to keep hope alive and work towards peace and justice. <laughs>